Hello everybody, my name is Kale Carone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a SHO image from APT and uh, using APT and using Photoshop. Um, so for the, uh, for the target I'm going to be using the uh, Eagle Nebula only because uh, there's not many frames so it won't take as long to uh, stack all this and uh, this, this, this target is bright and it's fun to uh, process. You've probably seen my, uh, my SHO version already, but I'm gonna do the video. Um, I'm gonna record it this time and show you how I got to that point. Uh, I just wanna say this in advance that I won't be doing the color adjustments in APP. I'm gonna be doing it in Photoshop because I like that real time um, color changing. Um, it just makes more sense for me. But I'm gonna show you how to get to the SHO photo. So I have all the lights, all my darks, everything. So what you're gonna do is go to uh, raw fits and you're gonna pick RGGB. If you, this is for a colored camera, by the way. If you have a colored camera or like a narrow band filter like the L Enhance or L Extreme. Uh, so for the pattern, you're gonna do RGG, RGGB um, for the pattern. And then for the algorithm, you're gonna do HA03 color. So that will stack it in HA and O3. And uh, we're gonna do that right now. So after that, you go to uh, integrate, and then you just all you gotta do is simply click integrate, and then you name it. Uh, and I'll name it M16, just like that, and it will stack. This will probably take five or ten minutes um, with the amount of subs I have. So uh, I will be back to uh, show you the rest. Okay, so here is the stacked photo. Um, like I said, this is only like 40, 40 to 45 minutes of data. So uh, it's not gonna be the greatest picture. And obviously I didn't get much of the eagle, but I got I got the middle. So that's that's what matters. That's what I was aiming for, was the pillars of creation. And um, this is the O3 and HA stack. So now we're gonna do just HA. So we're gonna go back to raw fits right here. And we're gonna go back to algorithm the algorithm and go to extract um, O3 extract HA so we're gonna click that this pops up at least for me it pops up I just click yes and now it's gonna just extract HA so now you just go to get this away go to in uh, integrate scroll back down and then click integrate and this will do the same thing so I will be back one more time uh, usually the O3 and the HA don't take as long so we're just gonna I'm gonna name it HA and there we go now it's gonna it's gonna stack uh, or it's gonna extract just the HA and I'll be back one more time okay so here's the HA that didn't take too long at all maybe like three minutes so this is just the HA um, now we're gonna move on to the O3 and we're gonna do the same thing we did for the HA so we're gonna go back to raw fits and you're gonna keep the patterns RGB and then you go to the algorithm and instead of HA you click the O3 and this will pop up again click yes and then you go back to integrate scroll down uh, then click integrate and you want to name it obviously O3 oops O3 click OK and that will extract the O3 this one does not take long at all and then you will head to the combined R, uh, RGB, which I'll get to that in a minute. So once again, I will be back. Okay, so we're back again with the O3 only. So there's quite a bit of O3 in there actually. So uh, I was excited to see that. So now we're gonna get to combining the RGB. So we are now gonna go to uh, tools and all you gotta do is click combine RGB. And then it'll show this. Uh, you just pick uh, whatever you want so you can you go to a new formula you can pick whatever you want in this case we are doing SHO so we're gonna go to click we're gonna click add channel and we are going to go to here get the M16 open it and these will pop up so uh, M16 HA so you want to go to shot with filters, go to hydrogen alpha, and then click OK. 
and then M1603 will come up and then you go there back here you click uh, oxygen 3 and then you're gonna want to add oxygen 3 again but as sulfur 2 so you're gonna go back to add channel click to grab the O3 channel and then set it as sulfur 2 cheating, cheating our way into SH <laughs> So now we're, uh, I like to bump up the O3, so I'm just going to bump that up to this 2 right down there. And then I'm just going to click recalculate. And it should be green and a little bit a little bit of blue. It should be really, yeah. So it's going to be green, like a lighter green, but it's kind of like a blue uh, in the middle for the O3. So this is uh, what you should expect when you uh, when you combine the those, those channels. We're just going to save that. <clears throat> go click cancel and then RG here is the combined RGB so I'm not gonna like I said I'm not going to do the colors in uh, in APP but I'll show you how to get there so you just go you go back to tools and then you go to HSL selective color you click on that and it will bring you to a bunch of little buttons and you can screw around with the the colors here so I actually forgot to uh, remove the light pollution because there's some uneven lights. So you got the bright part here and then you got the darker part here. So we're actually going to fix that with, um, there's a light pollution tool in APP. And all you, all you got to do is go to uh, tools and then you go to remove light pollution. And then what you do in here is you just place boxes around and it, it'll calculate uh, the sky I guess and it will remove the light pollution and make it kind of more even if that makes any sense i don't know the science behind it but <laughs> i don't know the whole technical stuff behind it but i know it just helps with the light pollution so i'm just going to place the boxes around and uh, it does a pretty good job on it uh this is probably not the right way to do it but i'm going to click calculate works pretty well so it doesn't take long at all too so um which is nice so uh, it's gonna do that. It's gonna lag me for a bit. There we go. It looks that looks better. It looks better. So I'm just gonna OK and save. It's gonna save that. Boom, boom, boom. It's gonna make a bell, and there is the image. Let it load again. There we go. Okay. So now we're gonna save it, and I I know I saved it before. And I saved it as a 32-bit. Don't do that. Save it as an 8-bit. <laughs> Don't do a 32. It makes this image. It makes the image really bright. So I'm just gonna name this uh, M16 SHO uh, YouTube TIFF 8-bit uh, channel. Keep it the same. Now it's saved. Now I'm gonna jump into Photoshop and show you guys the color palette and how to achieve it. Okay, so I actually changed my mind because I was in Photoshop and I was I was playing around with the colors, but it just wasn't doing it right. So I'm actually gonna do it in APP now, and it actually worked pretty well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So uh, you're gonna go to Tools, you're gonna go to HSL Selective Color. You're just gonna click Yes, and it'll take you and into this little place with a bunch of buttons, and you can play around with all the colors. And I love to do this. So um, with SHO, you're going to want to play with green, yellow, and cyan. So you're going to want to start with the green. So with the green, you're going to want to pull the red cyan down, all the way down, completely down. You're going to bring the green and the magenta. You're going to bring the magenta up. Oh, no, so you're going to go down. I apologize. You're going to go down. And you can bring it to whatever you want. I'm going to do 30 to get kind of bring that like yellow that yellow look so it's going to change to kind of like a yellow and i like that um so i was actually feeling fiddling around with it before i started recording and i went to yellow and nothing really happened when i went to uh when i brought down the red and the scion and i brought the magenta up look 40 and it didn't really change anything so I'm probably gonna fix that in Photoshop. It's supposed to make like gold, but it doesn't really do anything, and I'm not sure why. I might be doing something wrong, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just we'll we'll do it in Photoshop. It'll be it'll be fine. 
So now for the Scion, for the O3, you're going to go to Cyan, and you're just going to go to blue, yellow, and you're going to bring it all the way to the blue, and ca click Calculate, and it should be nice and blue in the middle. Oh, just like that. Look at that. Nice and blue in the middle. It looks great. And if you want a nice little punch to it, you can just click over here, just click Saturation, and it'll, it'll make a nice little punch. Looks really, it looks better now. It looks more vibrant, and I love that. So uh, we're gonna take this into Photoshop. Uh, I'll uh, play around with the yellows and all that in Photoshop. So we're just gonna apply all this, and uh, we're gonna save it again. So we're gonna create. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna click cancel. It's gonna go back here. Here's the. Here's the photo, and we are just gonna save that again, and we'll take it back with the Photoshop, and we will play around with that. I'll name it V2 because it's version two. Tiff, eight bits, okay, and I'll be back with uh, the Photoshop. Okay, so I'm here in Photoshop. I am going to show you how to get the color better. Uh, we got purple stars, which is good for the SHO. So we're gonna make it more yellow, take away the green, and we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to achieve that. So just gonna switch this mode back to 16 bit and now it is now 16 bit. Uh, I'm gonna screw around with the yellow or the yellows, this the levels. Actually no, before I do that, I'm going to flip the image completely. So like this, and I'm gonna crop it. I'm gonna do a different crop for this version. For the YouTube version and just crop it in like that. Why not? Boom. Not great data, but that's okay. Um, so now we are going to play around with the colors. Uh, let me just play around with the levels real quick. Instagram's kind of weird right now, but that's fine. All right, so we're gonna go to adjustments and then select the color. And I'm just gonna start with the green and kind of pull the scion back a little bit like that. And now it's more like a yellow. And you can pull the magenta up and down to make it whatever color you want. I'm just gonna turn to like a gold color. Just like that. Boom. Just uh, merge that together and it'll create that. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to put a bunch of like layers, so I'm just going to quickly do a really, really quick, really noise reduction, just to make it look more clean, maybe a little bit of color reduction, just, just a bit, sharpen it a bit, this is this, for, this is for the sake of the video, um, we'll just put that in there, now we'll, we'll play with the colors once again, uh, I'm just going to go back to camera raw filter, I'm gonna go to the like the APP uh, HSL um, adjustments. Um, I'm gonna play around with the hues. I like the hues and uh, t kind of turn those greens into like a a nice like what is that like a yellow orange color, just like that. I kind of I kind of like that. It looks really cool. Maybe you can uh, up the yellows, take the yellows away. I'm gonna put it up like this. I like that. I like that. It's like a yellow, gold, orange, and then you got the O3 in the middle. And uh, the aquas, you can do whatever you want. Purple, whatever you want. I like I like this blue. I'm gonna leave it at this blue, so zero. Um, you can bump up the saturation if you want. There's, not, there's no orange in there, so we're not gonna do orange. Do some yellow, you can bump it up like whatever whatever you want it's to taste really uh we'll do that it looks pretty cool greens there's not much green there we can do whatever we want we can that looks cool too bring up the yellows like that it looks really cool too i like that and the aquas we can do whatever you want uh i'll keep it to where it was i, I like that blue it's like a subtle blue um we can up the luminance as well 
that kind of bloats the stars a bit, so I'm not gonna do that with any of the blue. Make it a little brighter like that. This is, this is all rough work. We'll click OK. And now it's starting to look more like an SHO image. Um, the stars, I like to, I like the stars to, to not be purple. That's, that's just my taste. I'm not a big fan of the purple stars, but, um, I, I, this is what I like. I like this, like, I like the blue, how the blue transitions to the yellow. I, I like this. This looks pretty cool. So this is how I do my SHO images. So I start with APP. I do what I do and then I just bring the Photoshop and I, I uh, play around with the colors and uh, you can just do whatever you want really um, we'll, we'll come back here we'll go back to basic we'll just up the contrast a bit uh, bring down the shadows a little bit like a 40 um, some clarity just this little bit and I usually do some star reductions uh, there's still a lot of noise this image like I said it's like 40 minutes of data if this was or data sorry if this was any other object like a dimmer one there would be no data in it like this is the, the eagle is really bright this is 45 minutes like I'm just gonna make it more clean this looks it's not the greatest photo but you know what that's okay this is all rough so yeah this is how you make an SHO image from from APP and uh, and Photoshop, uh, I hope it kind of helped. I'm like I'm not very good at tutorials to be honest with you, but uh, this is how I do my SHO. Um, it's weird when you record, you kind of forget what you do. It's it's weird. Like when I'm processing, like this me my, myself, like it's just much easier to process the photo. Like I I almost forgot what to do in the video to be honest with you. I'm just gonna be honest, but um, but. I just, from my knowledge, this is how I make the SHO image. So, um, if you had a photo and you wanted to follow along, uh, that's awesome. Uh, I learned this from Astro Bloke. Um, he's awesome. I learned, this is where I learned it from. Uh, and my images have more, I guess it's more of a story to them now because of uh, what I can do with the SHO or HOO. But that's enough rambling. Uh, I hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like and subscribe. Um, we're almost at 200 subs. That's awesome. Uh, if you guys have the L Extreme, you can do this with a colored camera or any L Extreme. It's pretty awesome. I'm not as not as cool as like the mono stuff, but you can get you can get somewhere with uh, with the color camera and uh, L Extreme or L Enhance. Um, but yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed and clear skies.